G in the map is that's Yankee. As long as we get some tanks in the south and targets in the north, I'm going to be fine. I know a great strategy, which is to park uh, where these buildings are. We're going to nail them hard. Looks like we're not getting a strong showing in the south. I mean, to be honest, it's only one tank, which means I'm not going to be able to go in safely. So I'm going to park over here. Heavy tanks didn't show up. I could just blind fire over here, see how they crossed over. Maybe he moved forward a little bit. I got nothing to do, I'm just going to fire again at the same spot. Oh, this is pretty good. For the uh, stun and assistance damage, I got some decent numbers. Like 560 something. Now you see how I got a nice line on this tank over here? And I'm in a fairly safe position. Not emotionally safe. Not really physically safe either, but virtually safe. I'm virtually safe. Use a VPN. I could easily take up a better position, like go where the AMX 12T is. Oh, I got 397 um, tracking damage. But that doesn't really help with the marks of excellence, you know. You get stun and tracking mixed together. Make my way east. Nice. Perfetto. Or as you know what they say in Poland, you know how they say perfect? They say, perogi. It's a perogi. Oh, look, there's an SPG right here. FE-304, of course. That was close. That was 
is closed. My name's Skoda T25. He's got an amazing position. He's going to let the FV304 spot for him or something. Ooh, park the tank over here. Park it over here, not there. He's their top player. Yeah, look at that. A thousand stun damage. And a thousand one hundred regular damage. So I knew I was going to do well on this map. Because it's a good position. You're not a good player. Your win rate is 49%. Wow, look at all that. I beat Kitten.